What are macronutrients? Hello to you, my friend. Do you see people in the grocery store always looking at the back of the box, but you don't really get it? I'm gonna go over with you some stuff about macronutrients that we should know. Near the end of the video, I'm gonna add a piece of bonus information about this. On this channel, I'm gonna go over everything that can better yourself, and I upload all the time. Right now, we're gonna talk about macronutrients, what they are and why they're important. Now you might know that macronutrients are things like carbohydrates, fats, proteins, but did you know that macronutrients also involve water and vitamins as well as fiber? These things are super imperative to your health, your daily health, your feeling every day, how you function, and even considering your emotional status. The big three in the macronutrients are obviously protein, carbs, and fat. And usually the average person should probably have a split of around 50% carbohydrates, 25% protein, and 25% fat. And that's okay if you work out and that's okay if you don't work out. This will keep you right around that range. And whatever works best for you, you can feel out the process a little bit later as you get more intricate with it. Wherever your calories are really coming from should be right around that range. We'll talk about fats first. Saturated fats are good for you and you need them, but we don't need them in excess. Moderation is the key to saturated fats. You probably want to stay about under 20 grams of saturated fat for the day each day. Going over that is extremely easy, especially if you eat at these awesome tasting places like Waffle House and Taco Bell and McDonald's. I love these places, I know you do too, but they are loaded with saturated fat in all of the things on their items list. Saturated fat is important, but in moderation. Moderation is the key to a lot of this. The good fats that we do want are the PUFAs. Polyunsaturated fats. These are things like omega-3, 6, and 9s. Mono and polyunsaturated fats are incredibly important. Now, while you might not see these on the back of your box all the time, it might not show you these mono and polyunsaturated fats on the back of your box of whatever it is that you want to eat, but you can know that they're there by seeing the total fat on the back of the box and seeing what is given. So if there's 20 grams of total fat and there's no trans fat and there's 10 grams of saturated fat, that means there's 10 grams of fat that's coming from other locations. And those locations are the poly and mono and saturated fats. Now you may not know where it's coming specifically from mono and poly, but it is coming from mono and or poly. And both of these things are good for you. These are good fats. That's kind of the just of fat and we're gonna move on to carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are super important for a lot of things. Your brain function, you need glucose to run your brain nice and smooth. We don't skip breakfast. So when we look at the back of the box and we see the carbohydrates, we see a couple of things. First, we see how many carbohydrates are actually in each serving that we're looking at. This is important because if you set your goal to 50% of your caloric intake and your calorie intake is 2,000 calories, then 1,000 calories of what you eat are coming from carbohydrates during your day. So if 1,000 calories are coming from carbohydrates and this thing has 10 grams of carbohydrates in it, we know that every gram of carbohydrates has four calories with it. So if it's 10 grams of carbohydrates, it's 40 calories and you know how much of your 1000 calorie allotment for the day is coming from this one serving the total calorie intake is important because you're looking at how many calories are coming from these carbohydrates how many carbohydrate calories how many carbohydrate grams you're allowing yourself for the day and where you want to stay inside of and how far this fits inside of it next on the carbohydrates list is Dietary fiber, and fiber comes in soluble and non-soluble forms, but that's a little bit more specific right now. We're just gonna talk about fiber. Fiber good, fiber good. Sugar bad, fiber good. More fiber the better, but you can get too much fiber. Don't you worry about it because you're not gonna get too much fiber unless you live off of fiber one bars or something. You will be fine. I eat 40, 50 grams of fiber a day. So you'll be okay as long as you track your intake and you see what's going on with your fiber intake and you'll be perfectly fine. But the takeaway is fiber good. Fiber will aid in your overall gut health, your digestion, your probiotics, your prebiotics naturally 
in your stomach and in your intestines. The next one is total sugars and added sugars or nowadays included sugars. Total sugars, I think this should probably be obvious to you. We wanna keep this low because sugars are really fast energy. Right now, usually, fructose, glucose, these things are super fast and they will hit your body and if you're not using it, it will be stored and adipose tissue is fat and that's where it's gonna go. But these added sugars or processed refined sugars are the devil's work. We don't want this in our lives. Keep it as low as possible. And the AHA, the American Heart Association recommendation is to keep this one under 10 grams a day. And often you can easily surpass that with one serving of processed food nowadays. Try to keep this included sugar down as low as possible. And then the last one for the big three that we're gonna talk about is protein. Yes, protein. So we want about 20 to 30% of our intake to be from protein. And this is keeping us nice and lean. It's building our muscle. And one third of all these calories that are intaken from a lean protein source are burned off. That's beautiful. This thermogenic process is awesome. And this is what we want. This lean protein will help us stay lean. The more protein, the better. It doesn't really get super specific here. Just track where these calories are incoming. I think water is important to go over just for a second. And I think you should get around a gallon of water a day. You may or may not have heard of this, but let's count this as a macronutrient. Water is a nutrient. It's the most important nutrient in your body, actually. Your body is 70% water. Let's get that water in there. Let's aim for about a gallon a day. Now let's talk about how many calories come from what, right? So carbohydrates, each gram has four calories with it, right? Protein, each gram has four calories with it. But fat, fat has nine calories with it. So fats are calorie dense. And that's why you hear that word all the time, calorie dense. And that's why these foods that you eat are calorie dense as well. These bags of chips, these hamburgers from McDonald's, whatever it is that you're eating that is packed full of fat and saturated fat at that, that's why it's got so many calories. And that's why really a big reason why it'll make you fat is because it is so calorie dense. And also things like peanuts, you know, legumes and seeds and stuff like that might be high in fat as well. But those are a little bit different. Things that are high in fat are gonna be high in calories. These things are calorie dense. They'll add to your calories. And if you're trying to keep your calories under 2,500 or 2,000 calories a day or whatever recommendation you have set for yourself, you will have a more difficult time keeping under that goal with high fat foods. That's why we wanna keep it around 25% of our intake. You can say what you want about it, micronutrient, macronutrient. I call it a macronutrient, especially nowadays because everything we eat is packed with sodium. Sodium, everything. Look, do me a favor and just go Google real quick after this video, how much sodium is in your favorite thing that you eat. You'll be blown away. And especially you'll be blown away after you hear that the AHA, the American Heart Association recommendation is to be 1500 milligrams or less per day intake of sodium. And this that I'm looking at right now that I used for this video, one serving is one container. One package has 1300 milligrams of sodium in it. That already is almost your entire daily intake of sodium just in that one package of noodles. If you wanna eat that one package of noodles and then eat apples for the rest of the day and water, I guess you'll be fine. But it gets worse. One of my favorite places in the world is Waffle House. And I, can't, I simply can't eat more than maybe half of a plate at Waffle House. And that is if I plan my day in advance now, because I learned that a plate at Waffle House may have up to 4,000 milligrams of sodium in it. And that is the good plates. The bad plates can be even worse. Whatever restaurant I go out to, I ask for the nutritional content. They give you a paper and some of it can be upwards of eight and 10,000 milligrams of sodium in that one plate, that one portion. This is wild, right? We're talking almost 10 times as much sodium as you're supposed to intake in the whole day, right there in that one meal that they want you to eat. And yeah, it tastes good. But that's one of the reasons why it tastes good. It's super bad for you. 
And I know that you knew that, but now you know a little bit more why. You may read these things and you may think, okay, this is good for me, right? This is good. You may hold up to your face a whole box of Pop-Tarts and say, I can eat this box of Pop-Tarts and I'll be fine. Well, Doc America didn't tell you that. Doc America is going to tell you that look at the servings because one Pop-Tart might be a serving. And if you eat that whole box, you might be eating eight Pop-Tarts and then you just ate eight times more than you thought you were going to. So how many servings is in whatever you're eating? So like I said, for this, for this example, this whole container happens to be a serving, right? And that's cool because everything in this is part of everything that you read here. So everything that we went over, you know that you're just going to get that or a roundabout. All of that is one serving because that one whole package is one serving. Make sure you know how many servings it is. Look at your protein, your fat, your carbohydrates, where those things are coming from, your fiber, your water, your sodium, take care of all those things in your nutrition. Since you're still here, I know that you're smart. You're definitely smart and you're smarter than me even though I'm wearing fake glasses right now. You're doing good things for yourself and I'm proud to have you as part of Team Human. So if you like this video and you think you learned a lot, this video will also help you in other subjects like that. Before you leave, comment down below something that you may have already known about macronutrients or maybe something that you've learned from this video. Let's learn together and fight those negative gnarlies in the world. No negative gnarlies. Team human. I'll see you in this next video.